a hurry? Then drive to an airport, spread your wings, and fly. Hi, I'm Nicole Renee with Chic.TV Supercars here at the New York Auto Show at the launch of Milner Motors Air Car Prototype. Hi, I'm here with Chris Milner from Milner Motors, and we're here with a prototype of a flying car. That's right. This is the Milner Air Car. It's our first prototype of what will eventually be a flying car. It's a car that has folding wings. You'll drive it to an airport, you'll unfold the wings, take off, fly to another airport where you'll fold up the wings and drive to your destination. We think it's going to be a great time saver. It should be the fastest way to get anywhere uh, within a thousand miles. You don't have to stand at the, in line at the airport and also you don't have to drive. In the air it'll go 200 miles an hour and um, we're, he we're glad to be here at the New York International Auto Show. This is actually the debut of this prototype. This is the first time it's on display ever. Now how fast will it go on land? On land it'll go up to 85 miles an hour. Not bad. It's not bad. Not and on land we expect that it'll get about 75 miles per gallon. It's very aerodynamic. That's really good. So uh, on land it'll be very fuel efficient as well. Very nice. Now what size are the wings and how much space is it going to take up when you're driving? Is it bigger than a normal car? When the wings are folded, it's essentially the same size as a Hummer. It's seven feet oh. wide and seven feet high. So it'll fit in a regular parking spot. It'll fit Very in your good. garage. <laughs> and when the wings are unfolded, it's uh, 28 feet wide. Um, and it'll weigh 3,000 pounds. All right. What is this made of? The prototype's made of fiberglass over steel tube frame. We hired a firm in uh, Oregon that uh, makes uh, beautiful uh, vehicles, as you can see. Yes, it is. The production, the next step is going to be a manufacturing study where we will study what the um, materials are to actually make a flying prototype. So we probably are looking at six months of a manufacturing study, and then maybe two years from now we'll have an actual flying prototype. That's amazing. Now how long has this actually been in the making? We've been working on this about three years. Wow. Uh, about the, the first year was uh, all in cyberspace. We took a complete clean sheet uh, design approach. We designed the vehicle from scratch. We did uh, computer engineering and essentially wind tunnel testing in cyberspace. Wow. We did crash worthiness testing in cyberspace. And the prototypes took us about two years to build from scratch. That's great. Yeah, we're very pleased with how they turned out. They wow. look great. Uh, it so definitely very nice. has um, all of our assumptions around how well the vehicle is, is working have borne out to be true so far. So uh, we're excited to keep working on our project. And where did you get the idea for this? The idea has been something that my dad, Jim Milner, has been thinking about for about 20 years. Finally, one day, uh, I said to him, Dad, it's time to stop talking about it and start working Actually on it. Actually do So it. he did. So it's a father-son company. We're a father-son company, right. that's right. In the prototype, you have to fold the wings by hand. Oh. When, when, uh, when we come to production, the wings will fold by, at the push of a button, push from, of inside button. The, uh, from inside the cockpit. But essentially, our wings just will fold up like this. Wow. And I'm not going to do, there's another fold, which I'm not going to do right now. That's all right. But here's the car. But, but here's the car. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm sitting in a flying car. This is awesome. Yeah, this is a prototype of what the instrument panel is going to look like. When you're driving down the road, you'll see a speedometer and a fuel gauge. Um, also, you'll see your rear view mirrors right here. You'll notice oh, the vehicle okay. doesn't have rear view mirrors. We have cameras in back um, that wow. will uh, display the rear view here on the on the uh, console. Why would you have that instead of normal mirrors? Well, you can't see past the wings. You can't see past the wings, <laughs> so we have to do a camera approach. And there then when you switch into air mode, when you get to the airport and you switch into air mode, the instruments will change to regular airplane instruments. Oh, okay. And so we've got two computer monitors here that display either airplane instruments when you're in the air or a regular speedometer when you're on the ground. And how many passengers does this hold? This will hold four people, two in front and two in back. So we have four doors and Fly four the whole seats. family. <laughs> and uh, it holds 70 gallons of gas. So you'll be good for uh, about a thousand miles uh, in the air. In the air, okay. Because then you can refuel when you get back to the ground. And it's <laughs> going to use regular unleaded gasoline. So you'll refuel, you'll land, fold up the wings, go to a gas station, and uh, fill it up with gas fill at the gas up. station. Now, how much does something like this cost? We think it's going to cost about five hundred thousand dollars, which will be essentially the cost of a new airplane. Uh -huh. But it's a flying car.